will kick off for the Terriers here in Death Valley. Toe meets leather, and we are underway. Joseph Ngata, the true freshman from his own three. Gets outside, now has a lane. Closes down quickly. Clemson will start from their own 24. Lawrence to put fake now out in the flat. Has a receiver wide open. That's Ross. Or Higgins, rather. T. Higgins inside of Wofford territory. Lawrence to pass. Coming near side to Higgins. Complete for the first down. Lawrence is looking to go up top. Has his receiver. Score! Amari Rogers. And the Tigers are on the board here early. Yeah, and look right here. Look at the offensive line. They only decide to rush four and drop seven guys in coverage. But with that much time and that much speed at the wide receiver position, even if you're in the right zone, you're just going to get run away from. And I was just looking to see, is Trevor Lawrence going to drop this ball in there? Offense, but they're going to have to make it work here. More A's and Cleve in motion. They'll okay. try to get it to him. Newman now flushed out of the pocket. He'll just throw it away. That play was blown up right from the start. Luke Carter to punt it away for Wofford. Low bouncing kick. Picked up that time by Rogers. Not a lot of real estate, but a little bit. He's able to bring it out to the 28-yard line. More defense here. ETN breaks into that second level. First down. And just hit the hole a little bit too early. He has the, both the ability to explode through the hole and that patience to find it. Here's an explosion. Rodgers finally wrestled down at the 20-yard line, but a 35-yard pass completion. So they want to get the ball in these playmakers' hands any way they can. You see Lynn J. Dixon leading blocking out of the backfield. Every single position on their offense, they can do so much or so multiple with just their personnel. Dixon. He's going to bounce it outside. He uses his blockers to the 10. Inside the 10 in the score. Darren Pascal. And, and watch right here. Right there. You see number 12 fire on the inside where he needs to stay on the outside. Downfield blocking. Amari Rodgers, you see him run the ball. You see him that big long catch. And now he's blocking. That's a thing. Navy, Army, and AM. Look at Newman. Running the football 17 yards on the carry for a first down for the Terriers. And this is the thing that Newman does. He, watch this right here. You see all those options. He has the pitch option. It's almost a double pitch option, but you don't often see lead blockers out in front of the pitch man. Give inside to Allen. Can't get anything. One play stuffed right up at the line of scrimmage. Gordon again, low kick. This one will be returnable. And Rodgers has to reverse his field. He'll be corralled at about the 18. Brother Chase actually moved here to Anderson to be near Trevor and to continue his artwork. Here in a second here, Kelsey's ETN busts off a long run to get it into Terrier territory. And know a whole lot about football. Now, I actually got to chase, talk to Chase yesterday. Another ETN run. He's not letting you finish your story about his artist, Chase Lawrence, because he just took two carries to the house. Kelsey, he does not want to let you talk. Kind of lets uh, let your emotions run wild until you just smack someone in the face. Loveless on the pitch. He's going to pick up the first down. Option. Keeps it. Just can't get past that initial surge from this Clemson defense. In a leather jacket. <laughs> Shirtless with a cigar, cigar in his mouth, riding a black stallion. He's pretty interesting. Luke Carter just tempting fate, holding on to the ball before punting it, but it's been effective for him so far. Dixon again in the backfield, this time Lawrence to pass. Higgins, first down Clemson. Forced to go up top. Four wide at Lawrence's disposal. Over the top, overshoots his receiver. You are not going to see much of number 16 in this game if he keeps on getting hit like that. First time we've seen Will Spires punting away for Clemson. Van Cleve with the fair catch at his own 32. 36 yards on the kick. Van Cleve in motion. 
Newman Ooh. fakes the handoff and keeps it. Picks up maybe four yards. He's been holding, holding, holding on to the football so his, his uh, coverage team can get down. That time he just got it off. Good punt, too. Really good punt. Rodgers all the way back to his 12. A fair catch after a 48-yard kick. Clemson, LSU, Alabama, and Ohio State will be discussed heavily. ETN again. Uh-oh. Goodbye. 40, 50. He's going to go. 86 yards for the score. He's had himself an afternoon. And watch this right here. Just a little hesitation in the hole by Joe Beckett, number 45, the linebacker. And Travis Etienne makes a man miss and then just outruns everybody in the secondary. And watch, look at number five behind him. Third and two. That's a carry this time by... Jack was Allen again in that backfield. And he's going to get a first down. In the middle, and just with two guys pulling around, we're unable to set the edge of the defense. And, and right here, Rudolph, my man right there, turned the wrong shoulder. Sometimes when you wrong shoulder, especially in these games, you can't let your players slack on the little fundamentals. Thank to Van Cleve, and Newman will keep it. And he won't go anywhere. Over top of that slot receiver, that's something that normal linebackers can't do. Give in the middle. Jake Venables is right there to meet the ball carrier for a minimal gain. I still have a shot. Kels, why did you uh, why did you put the guys up there where you did? I just want to say this is an un unfair advantage I have right now. It's another case of it, just like Ohio State, Penn State, both in the same division. So it's right. not like they have a chance to make up for it in a championship game. All kinds of time for Lawrence. This time he's going to keep it, try to make something out of nothing. Question is whether Tua Tungavailoa is going to be ready to go versus LSU. Because I think with Tua, Alabama is an outstanding team. Able to find the end zone and Travis Etienne back in the backfield. He's just sensational, bouncing it outside. He'll pick up more here. Has blockers in front of him. Ross getting him downfield. Finally brought out of bounds at about the 15 yard line. Ryan Titus chased him out for Travis Etienne. Yeah, downfield you have receivers blocking you. Mari Rogers and Justin Ross is getting out in front of their running back. And so often you get those explosive plays, those 10 plus runs. Need your wide receivers involved as well. Stepped out of the 22. Lawrence, quick to the hands. Inside the five, he'll score. Valley, T. Higgins. That's his fourth of the year. All Clemson. Reverses field, nowhere to go, and he's going to drop. Vanderpools is there. He plays with, and look at him right there in the middle of the defense. It's just relentless nature. Good job using his hands on the cut block, but then just pursuit to the ball. You love that. Third and 11, Newman looking to pass. He'll roll near side. Oh, there we go. That's Simmons. And he'll bring it down to the 13. Hasn't had any interceptions, but watch here. Able to read the quarterback's eyes and just melt over into that curl flat area. Breaks downhill and makes the catch. You want to see him catch the ball with his hands. And his wrestling singlet. Lawrence. He's got room to run if he wants it. He will inside the five. Down to the two. Give the fake to Dixon. Now he's going to keep it. He'll score on this carry. See, you got another opportunity. You'll get another opportunity to score. You won't get another opportunity to have a healthy ACL. Passing or on his feet, running the ball. And he does it here for Clemson. A big score for them. Going into break. It, yeah, I mean, a tight knit curls. Oh, what a play. Look at KJ Henry in the backfield just dropping Newman. They'll make it before the end of the year. I can guarantee you that. Newman has room to run. A lot of room to run. He's right at the sticks. It looks like he's beyond it for a first down. Allen. Strung out. Nowhere to go. He'll lose two. Watching again. Newman keeps it. And Venables is there to bring him down. 
It seems like there's a just a, a circle. They're on like a merry-go-round. Someone's beating everyone. It seems like every team has beaten the other team that the other team has beaten. It. Heard the announcer over the radio in the stadium. Amari Rogers back deep. That's never something you like as a punter. So far, this coverage team has held him. Uh-oh, but this one might have some space. Gets it out to the 40-yard line. Lawrence with the carry. Stays on his feet. Well, but I'm going to take another look at it. Third Ooh, five good move. Step by Morgan. But he'll be dropped for a loss. That defense just too quick to the ball. In this season, there's another FCS team, Charlotte. A good player, leader in that back end. Luke Carter, another good kick here. Turning on Kendrick. Returning this one, 25. Flag down. The 40. Dropped at the 44. Let's check on the flag. You really want to maintain your focus. These are the type of, of parts of the game where you're going to see his maturity right there. Great job getting it to Travis Etienne for a long game. Higgins. Enough for the first down. Him to get uncovered by the throw. And Jay Dixon now outside. 45, 40. Pushed out of bounds. At the 33, Kayvon Cobb knocked him out, but 15 yards. Team this year coming into the game, he was 6.3 yards per carry, so he has a lot of those big hitting plays. Doesn't touch the ball as much, but really makes the most out of every touch. Ross stays in bounds. He'll score. The question is whether he stays in bounds, and let's see if we can look here on the sidelines. Right there would be the biggest question, but his foot stayed in bounds the whole time. Getting into the end zone for score. Be out on the field and to have Clemson honor him, and he could hardly answer me. He just immediately started crying and just said that it it means so much. Um, Called six on the option. The pitch out to was Allen. It makes a nice move to pick up the first down. Very hard to get adjusted to life here, and Clemson has definitely helped with that. He said the camaraderie and patriotism. Yeah, nice pitch and catch, Jacquez Allen. Can the defense step up in that game to slow down this Clemson offense? Right now, this Clemson defense is trying to slow down Wofford, and Wofford's going to have a steam here to score. Wow. Ryan Lovelace on the pitch, and the Terriers find the end zone. See this pitch happen right there. Look at the blockers out in front. Blake Morgan running back, number 58. The offensive lineman, Blake Jariste, out in front, and... It looks like, to me, against Syracuse and came in and injured Trevor Lawrence. And they still room together on away games. Very close. So really, the only question is, which true freshman do you want a red shirt? And, and that sometimes dictates later in the season which guys get playing time and which don't. Getting down. Red shirt down inside the 15. Friendship with him and how much you know, they've grown together in what they've been able to do on the field, but also, as you mentioned, off the field and his spiritual growth, and that's something that Trevor right, says. The wrencher powers his way into the end zone. And the sideline's just erupting right now. And here he goes, getting behind his big offensive lineman, and look at them push. Cade Stewart in the middle, number 62. Newman going up top, has a receiver open. That's Van Cleef to the 30. He's going to score. Yeah, and let's see it right here. He's going to be matched up one-on-one, -on -one and he gets up, makes a little break out, and then right down the field with no deep safety for Clemson. That little... Right there, that double move will get him open down the field and then uses his speed to get all the way to the end zone. Really good job by Wofford anticipating that man-to-man -man coverage on the outside and enough. I wonder if that played into his decision-making to take this job at all. That pressure at the Sunday dinner table that you talk about. Nice flush, he'll carry it, a lot of space in front of him. Utilizes a blocker. 
Gets down to within two or three of picking up that first down. He had a long touchdown reception earlier in this game, and he's got one punt return for a touchdown. But he won't have an opportunity here. Fair catch at his own 21. I don't know, Chris, Mark, maybe one of you guys could go down to the sideline and do the post-game interview, and I'll just stop halfway in the booth. Would that work? Two hands on the rail on the way down. I said, like I said, that is a steep section of stands <laughs> up there. Back to return this punt. Sweeney get involved in the offense a little bit early on in that third quarter. Now an opportunity to return punts. Fair catch at his 34. All over the country, you're calling up to want to come to this place. And, and I think it has a lot to do, yeah, something to do with the facilities, but the fact that they have a coach. Special moment for me to understand that we are competitors on the field and we are going to fight as hard as we can against each other when it comes to football between being a really good winning football team and developing young men. You can do both. And, and he does that to the best of his ability and really some of the best around. High snap brought down. Potter can't connect. Press coverage on the outside. Clemson. Allen gets the handoff. He'll get the first down and powers his way for an additional two or three yards. Due to the pass protection by Clemson's offensive line now, that's something that LSU is exceeding at as well. Fumble on the play. Then Clemson's going to pick it up. Being up for that game, he had the ankle injury. Mac Jones has played well, but it's just different. It's, just, it's not the same. Potter for the field goal. If they continue to win. Potter will try it again. This time, the whole operation runs a lot more smoothly. You just get excited and, and kind of forget technique. And right there, he just ducked his head. You get, you get worried about the person on the receiving end of that hit, but also about the person delivering. Lovely spinning. Joseph Charleston, another freshman making the tackle. Will Brown now back deep to receive this punt. Brown will let this one bounce. Now he picks it up. Dangerous play by Brown. Only ended up saving himself two or three yards. Malusi again carries his way for a first down. Uh, and then, you know, ran the ball, got a couple, banged around a little bit, but you showed their ability to not turn the ball over.